So hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I will be explaining the problem trapping rainwater, which is a pretty nice problem. And in this video, I will be first explaining the idea to solve this problem, and then we will code it, code the our idea. So the problem statement is pretty simple. Uh, it is saying that I have been given a matrix, and each element of that matrix uh, matrix represents the height of the bars. So it will be represent something like this. And if water falls, some water will be collected inside them, and I have to tell how much volume of water will be contained. Okay. So let's understand the idea how to solve this problem through an example. So suppose this is the matrix. Okay. So one thing I want you to know is that. Uh, just imagine for example this is a container this is a container okay and this container is cut it is like this okay so for example this container looks like this so this is the boundary of this container okay so the if rain happens water will be filled till here only you know uh, okay so because this is the minimum boundary okay so this is also like a container and the water that can be held at least inside them will be equal to the minimum possible boundary okay so in this container i will first be uh, processing the outside boundaries because everything will be stored inside this boundary and slowly i will push in the boundary okay so let's just uh, do this so for example uh, i will uh, first process all the boundaries uh, so let me visit all the boundaries so after visiting the boundaries i realize that the max the, the the least height of this boundary is coming from here and that is one okay so now what i will do is that i will try to push in from this one i will extend the reduce the boundary basically so i will visit one and then i will add 13 to my boundary so now my boundary is something like this okay now in this boundary the minimum height is 12 okay so what i will do is that i will update my like maximum uh, minimum height uh, i will update my minimum height to 12 so now my minimum height is 12 so now what i will do is that i will try to push the boundary inside from 12 so let's uh, for example let's start from this 12 so in this 12 all its neighbors are already marked as a boundary they are already visited so i won't be pushing in from this side and in this 12 i will i can't be uh, pushing because everything is already marked and in this 12 from this 12 i will reduce my first boundary further so now my new like boundary will become this now still in this boundary the minimum height is 12 so now i will uh, push in from here so uh, now i will add 12 to this and now uh, i will again use uh, yellow this 12 so now what will happen this when even i come to this 12 or this 12 anyone what i will do is that i will push in and when i push in i see that the uh, the bar inside this is 10 which is less than 12 so it means that in this region the minimum height is 12 and this 10 is even less than 10 uh, 12 so it means that i can fill in some water here and what will be the height of water here the height of water will be uh, what uh, 12 minus 10 so i know that uh, two units of water is filled here okay now i can further go in because you know it the uh, if i process the neighbors of 10 1 is 12 it is already visited 13 is already visited now i go further in so just let me change the color so so now i will uh, i can fill water here also so now the still the maximum height of the boundary that this boundary uh, the minimum height is still 12 so uh, you know how much water can be stored here is that 8 12 minus 8 that is 4 units of water can be stored here so now uh, i will process the neighbors of 8 so what i see is that uh, the neighbors of height only 4 is remaining and 4 is also less than 12 okay so i will push in further so in this case also i will be storing how much units of water that is 12 plus uh, 12 minus 4 that is equal to 8 so total 14 units of water can be stored here okay now what i will do is that i will update my 
maximum height okay so now after 12 my maximum height will become 13 see the boundary only 13 remains uh, after i process this one also uh, just a second okay so now i will process my 13 boundary so what will happen is that uh, 13 uh, 13 uh, uh, the all the neighbors of 13 is already visited so here also everything is visited here also everything is visited 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 and visited so in this way i will be able to determine uh, the total water that is trapped inside this grid okay so how do i store all this uh, information that which is the least boundary so to do that i will be using a priority queue okay so now what i will be doing is that i will be explaining i will be writing the code and explaining it uh, with the example with this grid this is the same grid but i will just code it and explain along with so let's begin the coding part so in the coding part first of all i will just rename this to grid because it's easier to write now the first thing is going to be i am uh, going to make a variable r that is basically the number of rows in the grid and another value uh, variable in c is equal to grid zero dot size and this represents the columns in the uh, grid so now what i will do is that i will make a vector of vector int that is basically a visited vector vector so that visited vector is going to help me track which of the neighbors are already visited so r comma uh, vector int comma c c comma zero so that is my visited vector and now what i will do is that i will make a priority queue so you know the priority queue is going to help me track the minimum boundary so for example in the first uh, a boundary th the minimum boundary is going to be one so i will track this using a priority queue priority underscore q u e u e and the priority queues type is going to be a pair so pair int comma pair int comma int so this basically is the the first integer is going to be the height of the current cell and the next pair is going to be the coordinates so since in this uh, in the this priority queue the only the highest boundary will be at top so to make it such that the lowest boundary is the top uh, is at top i will write vector uh, comma greater and in this i will just uh, copy paste this this pair uh, pair thing and just let me check if my priority queue syntax is correct because you know it's there are a lot of greater than less than signs so there may be some error so it is fine okay so now what i will do is that i will just make a variable called int volume volume is equal to zero and i will return it in the end return vol okay so now the first, uh, so I have initialized basically my uh, data types or like my variables. So now the first thing is to process the boundaries. To, so to process the boundaries for int i is equal to r0, i less than r, i plus plus. For int j is equal to 0, j less than c, j plus plus and if it is uh, the current cell so basically in the beginning what i am doing is that i am processing the boundaries so if it uh, that current uh, cell is a boundary cell then i will add it into the priority queue and mark the current cell as visited so to uh, do that what i will write is that if i is equal to zero or i is uh, is equal to r minus one or j is equal to zero or j is equal to c minus 1 so in that case what i will do is that i will push that current cell into the priority queue pq dot push pq dot push the height of that cell grid ij and the and the what uh, its coordinates i comma j so after pushing them inside the priority queue i will uh, what i will mark them as visited visited ij is equal to true so in this way i have processed my priority queue uh, process the boundaries so i'm just uh, running this code so to avoid any syntax errors uh, it is a good idea so now what i will uh, do is that i will initialize my min boundary min bd is equal to zero so you know for this case initially 
for this all this edges outside boundary is of height 0 so that's why I have written it as, as min boundary and I will update it uh, every time uh, where it is good to update so now what I will do is that while is not pq dot empty so when until the priority queue is not empty what I will do is that mm, I will just update my uh, uh, I will just take the values from my current cell that I am uh, that is on the top of the priority queue so int current height of the cell that is on the top will be pq dot top pq dot top dot first dot first and I will also note down the coordinates int r is equal to pq dot top dot uh, second dot first and int c will be pq dot top dot second dot second so this is going to be the uh, coordinates now what I will do is that I will update my minimum boundary so minimum boundary will be what minimum uh, maximum of maximum of current height current height comma minimum I'll just let it uh, be minimum boundary height okay so it is min bdht bdht it is more intuitive minimum boundary height control c control b current height is uh, so the minimum boundary height will be the maximum of current height and the minimum boundary height so now what i will do is that so this basically what it is happening is that i have i have got hold of this current cell now i have to explore its neighbors so its neighbors can be in four directions one two three and outside so each neighbor should be a valid neighbor and it should be unvisited so to explore the uh, neighbors i will just make some direction vectors so dr4 is equal to uh, 0 comma 0 comma minus 1 comma 1 and int dc4 is equal to uh, 0 uh, sorry 1 comma minus 1 comma 0 comma 0 and now i will explore the neighbors for int i is equal to 0 i less than 4 4 i plus plus oh, just one second okay so to make the coordinate of the neighbor i will let the let the coordinate of the neighbor be r is equal to rr so int rr is equal to r plus dri int cc is will be the column of that uh, that neighbor is equal to c plus dci so now i have to check if the the neighbor is a valid neighbor or not to and to do that what i will do is that if rr is greater than or equal to 0 and and rr is less than r and and r is less uh, cc is greater than or equal to 0 and and cc is less than c and and viz rr cc is equal to false basically that neighbor has not been visited so if the neighbor has not been visited what i will do is that i will push them into the priority queue so pushing it will be grid rrs cc comma comma rr comma cc so now i have pushed that neighbor into the priority queue and i will mark it as true with rr cc is equal to true so now the i have to uh, check if some water can be added into this or not so to uh, add water what i will do is that if grid uh, grid rr cc is less than the minimum boundary height then i will increase my volume volume plus equals to uh, minimum boundary height minus minus grid rr cc so basically what this means is that for example when i was explaining when i was at this part uh, so when this was also filled just one second so when i was at this part this current cell is less than the height of the minimum boundary height so in that case i will update my volume for example i will update my volume 2 and then i will explore its neighbors its neighbor is 8 it is also less than the minimum boundary height and it is also the minimum. and then i will explore the neighbor of 8 and 8 will be, it will be 4 so this is how i am updating the 
volume so that's the code now just let me test if the uh, code is correct syntax wise mm. okay one thing is remaining I didn't uh, pq dot pop I have to pop my element also pq dot pop so if I don't do this uh, I the priority queue will never be empty so let's hope everything is correct so it's working fine now let's submit it and it is accepted it is 88 percent faster so you know this problem is all about the priority queue how, how you are basically processing the uh, boundaries and you have to take the minimum boundary so you know if the pro i will just paste the code in the comment section and if this video is helpful please consider subscribing the channel so thank you and have a nice day